last disabling event. Don't ignore long COVID, yeah. Well, there's some truth to that for sure. Disabling everything. That's what it is. Last nah, disabling. <laughs> See this here? Ridiculous. The propaganda crap they have to put out here. Brainwashing. Here. Just brainwashing. Because you follow the uh, the experts, right? The quote unquote experts. You follow the scientific dictatorship, which you cannot question at all. Follow the dictatorship and follow the uh, faux experts. Here. Well, they lie to you about virtually everything. <laughs> don't question anything. Whatever you do, don't question anything. Uh, war is peace. Freedom is slavery. Ignorance is strength. Okay? So put your mask on. Put your mask on because the uh, the Loch Ness Monster might get you if you don't have it on. Cookie Monster might get you if you don't have your uh, your muzzle on. <laughs> so put your symbolic muzzle on and be subservient and do what you're told, slaves, okay? You have no choice in the matter. Unless you want to lose your universal basic income and your free shoebox condo that we've provided you with. Okay, so follow instructions, slaves. Put your uh, military camouflage clothing on and your uh, uh, those red checkered lumberjack shirts that we tell you to wear for our Masonic symbolism and just show that you're a slave. Show that you're our slave, okay? Be a good subservient slave. Be a good goyim. And do what we tell you. Put the clothing on that we tell you. Put your mask on and don't question anything. And don't question the scientific dictatorship of actors posing as experts. Okay? That's all there is to it. Follow what uh, Dr. Fauci and all these other assholes say who are just actors. <laughs> While they lie to you about everything. Don't worry, just put your mask on and you'll be fine. Trust the science. Teresa Tam says put your mask on. So that's not somebody who would lie to you, is it? It's definitely a, a trustworthy person there. <laughs> Make sure you do what he says, what he says, Mr. Tam, when he tells you to put your muzzle on. You will obey instructions. Otherwise, you could get, you know, the Loch Ness Monster could get you, otherwise. Cookie Monster could get you if you don't have your, your muzzle on. Yeah, so make sure, make sure you bundle up, put your mask on. Because Mr. Tam says so, and all the experts say so. Dr. Fauci says so, Mr. Tam says so. Uh, Cookie Monster says so. So trust the experts. Don't don't question the science. When they tell you to, uh, everybody gather together and then jump off the edge of a cliff together, you can trust them when they tell you that. They're, they have your best interest at heart when they tell you that. Trust the experts in the science, okay? The science says you should all uh, get together in a large group, put on your muzzles, and then when you have your muzzles on, uh, you should all jump off the edge of a cliff together and don't worry trust the science you'll be fine <laughs> there'll be no worries you you won't fall hundreds of feet to your death you'll be fine because the science says so and the experts say so okay so don't worry put your mask on and trust the experts trust Teresa Tam trust Dr. Fauci trust Bill Gates all these actors <laughs> actors who they say are experts trust them all put your faith in them They've got your best interest in mind, always. As does the scientific dictatorship that lies to you about literally everything. <laughs> oh. 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 
almost last Friday, so yeah. Number 75, so. and look at where they're stopping too. It's gonna walk over here. Let's take a look here. Stopping right here, but we're in the bus. I can't put that out there. Look at that. What's well, nothing there? You can see this is right where I'm going to get the bus. Look at where they pulled up. Just idling here. Wait, you turn now, right? You turn? No, okay. Supervisor there. Okay. Yeah. Right as it arrives, you notice it's, this is my bus here. So, right as it arrives, the police leave there. So, they pull over idle there, then, as soon as my bus arrives, they, they pull away. So. mask on. Don't forget to put your mask on. <laughs> See if we have uh, something here tonight. So if you noticed earlier this morning when I showed those two signs, uh, just after I got off the train in Ottawa, I was waiting for the bus to go back. To go back, the two signs that I showed, the one of them said, uh, what was it, uh, you know, in favor of masks and all that, was in uh, blue. The other one on the other side of the street, so they got this fat guy standing here tonight as I come up here. They've each, most of the nights, not every night this week, they'll have a guy just standing there staring at a phone. That's right where I cross. So I typically would cross there every night and they have him standing there. That's not a bus stop either. That's just a guy standing there staring out at the road holding a phone. So they're going to doing this quite regularly. Uh, I'm just going to wait till this guy leaves before I cross over. He's, he's standing right in the pathway where, I'm, where I would normally cross there. 
He's not waiting for any bus. He's just standing there waiting for me to cross, staring at the phone. So we'll wait for him to go. But it's too snowy to sit down here. So um, yeah, so you'll notice those two signs that I showed. The first one that I came to um, was in red. <laughs> and uh, the other one on the other side of the street was blue. So you can see they have the two, the two sides, the red and the blue always for masonry. And the same crap they say about like the red pill, the blue pill, it's, it's all just the same crap and the two sides that they always create. So the one side, the first first sign I came to said something about, uh, you know, it's something that was a little bit more reasonable about uh, when will it end or something, something, I can't remember the exact words. And then the other one, which was in blue on the other side of the street, was saying, uh, I mask because whatever, you know because I trust the science or some garbage like that. <laughs> Something ridiculous like that. So um, you can see they had the red and the blue. Now again, what's this for? So that's right where I have to cross there. And he's just standing there in the middle of the path where I would walk. This has happened uh, three times this week. They, he work, I think he works for Ottawa Transit, this guy. And he just goes over and stands there right where I'm supposed to cross. So they have people who work for the transit company taking part in these things. That's what they do, these public servants. What's that over there? Oh, special constable? Oh no, sorry, it's uh... Oh, hold on, what is that there? Is that an ambulance? Or is that uh... Oh, it's just a back... No, it's an ambulance. Yeah, they got an ambulance over there today too, so as I arrived... I just noticed that too. Yeah, see, over there by the buses, and I think that might be a special constable vehicle to the left of it, I can't tell. Bus is in the way. Notice how long this guy's just standing here too. So he, three times this week they've had this person go over there as I arrive and stand in the middle of the, of the uh, pathway there. And this is an Ottawa Transit employee too, doing that. Uh, okay, yeah, that's an ambulance over there. Let's see, actually I can go back in. Let me just take a look here, what, what's going on over there. So three times this week they've had somebody doing that. And that's an Ottawa Transit employee who they have doing that too. Who's not even on the, the transit uh, property. He's across the street standing there. Staring out at the road. Um, where, I where I would always be crossing. Big fat guy too. Let's see, he's still, yeah he's still over there right? So he's still just standing there. Getting paid to stand there doing nothing. That's what uh, Ottawa Transit pays its employees to do. Yeah, it's, a, it's an ambulance here, look at this. But it's further over, oh yeah, there's <laughs> constables here too. They didn't, they're not gonna pull out right there if I uh, get here tonight. We're gonna go for the left this mountain too. That's something to take over here. Let's get a look here. There. Notice the sign on the ambulance too with the Cadesis serpent symbol across the, uh, the winged rod there. And then you got the Ottawa symbol with 666 in the logo. Look closely at the O. It's a three sixes and a squirrel. So this happens right as I ride here. Yeah, look at this. That's the constable there. Just nonsense theater here. They tried something different tonight. They're not uh, pulling out right as they run. Instead, they're doing this for a little bit of theater here for Friday. Let's head back over here. Oh, right away. See that? As soon as I exited. See? Special constable right away. Right as I exit work. You can see them there. Last night, they showed up as I arrived at the station and set up a fake acting skit. You can see as I'm going to the train station, the moment I, literally the moment I, well, just as I stepped off the property there, they pull up just right in front of me, stalking as usual and doing no legitimate work as usual, uh, Ottawa Special Constables.
it's an absolute uh, joke. So they're a, a joke of an organization, and they hire only people who are deranged psychopaths with no conscience and no basic human decency. And that's also why they exploit the most vulnerable people uh, in society, the homeless people who they use uh, to do these things as well, who they enlist to uh, partake in these childish acting skits. Where did that car go? I didn't see where it went. Let's see. Where did he go? Two of them here, okay? Two of them here. I'm gonna get your information from you. No, you're not supposed to walk over here as a pedestrian, but I'm going to speak to them. I'm going to speak to those people over there. Yeah. speak to these uh, deranged psychopaths. They know what they're doing. They pulled up right as I got here. Look what they're doing. Sitting there doing nothing. Of course they sent two of them too. Now look at this. Pulling away now. They showed up last night right as I arrived. Today as I leave work they pull up right in front of me. Okay, what's the car number here? Five. Hello? Hello? I said hello for the third time. Hi, I need to request the information of both of you, your badge numbers. Um, the reason I'm at coming over here, I know you're not supposed to walk here. Yeah. Uh, sorry about that, but I need no, to request... Sure. Well, you were just parked here doing nothing as usual, so I just came over to speak to you because I need your information. So, okay, so what I'm am I supposed to do? Do you want me to go back over there? Yeah, and call the emergency phone and they'll put in a call for service. I want the information of both. Okay. So one can come over? You can go over there and I'll come over and speak. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, is she coming over here? Now I'm over here now, where they've said to go. Okay. Okay, so let's see where they're going to go from here. So are these people uh, constables as well? I can't tell. Okay, so is one of them coming over? Okay, one of them is. Of course, they're going to have some citizen operatives probably come over here too as well. All I want is their the badge numbers or their names, one of the two. And every right to ask that they've been doing this you see how long they've been doing this in my videos you see when they pulled up right there as soon as i left work and because uh, i asked for their information she's calling a sergeant i explained why i walked over there to speak to them because there's no other way other than to walk past the area where the buses were so now they're going to use this as an excuse to say there was trespassing when I simply was over to talk to them. They lie about literally everything um, and they're doing this intentional to stalk and harass. There's, you can see there's nothing going on here. Look at the amount of people who are here at the station. Nothing. So, let's see. Uh, as you can see, they've been doing this for a long time here and I can't even go over to get the train without these criminal stalkers showing up misusing their positions 
Um, set, last night, as soon as I arrived, they're setting up some fake nonsense, pretending that they had to remove a homeless person. Okay, so, where did the second one go? Let her call Sergeant. Tell him the same thing. See, they weren't expecting me to go over and speak to them. That's why they were positioned there. And you can see they're sitting there doing absolutely nothing. And it's absolutely quiet here. No reason for them to be here at all. And they pulled up the moment I, literally the moment I stepped away from work there, directly in front of me. It's done through CSIS, and uh, these useful idiots are used to do these things. Okay, I'm here. I don't I don't, So she's been told to say that, you can tell. She's been told to say that. She's been told to say she doesn't feel comfortable speaking to me because she knows she's been told to do this, right? Now she pulled up the moment, and here's the sergeant here. You can see the other car's over there too, just to confirm. They have to get their lies straight, so that's why. So she doesn't feel comfortable as a public servant uh, providing her information as a public servant. Uh, I've been better. How are you? Uh, what's happening is I, simp I, I know you're not supposed to go over on that side. Uh, I'm aware of that, but I wanted to speak to these two constables who pulled up just as I left work uh, due to some things that have been going on. I explained to them why very clearly. I explained to them that I'm compiling evidence to file a lawsuit against the city of Ottawa for continued criminal stalking of your constables that I have been dealing with since I moved here. Um, non-stop all the time. It's done in ways the moment I leave work they're pulling up in front of me. The moment I get here they're pulling up. It's, it's a childish game uh, and I'm tired of it. So all I asked for was their information. I think that's reasonable. Well, the, these, can I finish that? what I'm saying? These are public servants. Okay, well, this is a conversation, okay? This is not going to be you barking at me. This is going to be a public I'm not, conversation. I'm not barking at okay, you at all, so sir. But what, you, did, you, did did you didn't let me finish. You didn't let You didn't let me to finish. You did not let me finish what I would say. I explained very clearly that the reason I requested their information was because they pulled up right in front of me and because I've been dealing with criminal stalking from your organization, which you know is going on, for uh, a year and a half now. And I'm filing a lawsuit uh, against the city of Ottawa and against the people involved in this, and that's why I requested their information. They're public servants. Why would they not be willing to provide that? Well, they don't just have to hand it out to everybody. But I explained why. Okay. I explained, it's very so reasonable. If this is an ongoing lawsuit, then we're not going to comment on your ongoing lawsuit. I don't have it. Okay. It's not an ongoing lawsuit right now. I, all I'm asking for is either the names or badge numbers of these individuals so today. There's their car number right there, 205. I'm asking for the name or the badge so number, one of the two. Reason? What did they do? Be that because of the require? lawsuit. Okay, what did okay. they do? We're not going to get involved with your lawsuit, and that's just the end of the day. Okay, that's how this, oh, that's how oh, this conversation is going to end. Well, you are going to be involved in it because your 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 two constables are involved in criminal stalking. So okay. you don't have a choice. When I filed the lawsuit, you're, I want the, I want the information. Allow me to finish. Okay, so when you're defense, You've interrupted me. You, you continually you're interrupt not me. Making any sense. No, I made perfect sense. Here, no, here's. Okay, so I think I what's not making right sense? Now is done. Because you can't okay, defend your actions. You because you can't defend your actions. No, I, I I'm asking for the information of the people who are okay, involved no in criminal. I explained okay. why. You're, I'm filing. Defense, I, I'm. I'm in the process of compiling inform of compiling. Well, that's the job of your defense, sir. I have over a year of evidence of this happening already. Okay. And so now you've been told can't. to come here and lie and deflect, and you know that you can't have an honest conversation right. about this. We're all done here. You're, exactly. Exactly. Right. Because you don't have. So you're not going to provide the information no I need. Reason for us to give you your there, I explained exactly why. You, you know you're in breach. You, you are involved in criminal stalking and harassment. Turn around and walk away like the liar and the fraud and the charlatan that you are. Okay. You, you degrade and embarrass your position as a public servant, and you're a disgrace, okay? You're a disgrace. Yeah, you are. How many times are we going to see you next week, too? 
So you could tell he was trained just to deflect. They wouldn't even provide the information at all. He knows fully well what's going on, and you could tell. They're going to leave or they're just going to park over there and do, do nothing. So they're refusing to provide, provide their information as public servants. Um, and I told them exactly why. Uh, anyway, we have the video footage of who these people are. So Now let's see how long they just sit there and do nothing. Now they leave. So you see they, they arrived to do absolutely nothing, to park over there until I went in. And it's all part of a CSIS operation. Now that's the type of thing that they've been told to do, is just deflect and uh, deny, deny. Now you'll see when I come back here next week, they'll do the same thing again. So, sick of that crap. Like I said, you showed them last night as I was leaving. And then these creeps. That guy's just nauseating. And that's the type of person who they have in that position. They're taught just to deflect, lie, um, not deal with any valid points. Now that's a very reasonable request to ask for their information. I explained why, and they're refusing to provide it. And he says he says no reason why, even though I clearly explained why. Um, because if he did uh, see a reason why, then that would validate my point that they had they have been involved in criminal harassment and stalking for over a year and a half. And, uh, so they're told just to deflect and lie in those situations and be evasive and then go away after. Because he couldn't continue the conversation because he wouldn't be able to hold his own in any type of conversation discussing this matter because he knows obviously the evidence that I have of what they've been doing. So they're told just to deflect and lie and they weren't expecting me to have any interaction with them today. So just to do something a little different, I said, okay. I'm going to go over and speak to them and just request the information.